It's been a long time since I've done a video on Troom Troom, and after looking back at the most recent video I've done, reading the heartfelt comments on it, I've decided to make another one. We'll be taking a look at one of their popular videos, which is 8 Weird Ways to Sneak Food into Class. Now, we have to keep in mind, these videos are made purposely with highly intricate ways of sneaking food in because not a single person will find out where you're hiding something. They'll most likely think that you're hiding a piece of gum inside of your uh, pencil case when in reality it's actually inside of a glue stick. But anyways, let's get started. Want to have a snack in class? Bite off a piece of an eraser, eat a berry from the brooch, and blow a bubble with sweet tape. Watch a step-by-step -step instruction on how to sneak food into class in our new video. Oh boy, I can't wait to learn how to make my eraser edible. Attach four chewy candies to each other using gelatin glue. She takes the sweet eraser by accident. She will find out our secret now. But the teacher likes Mamba too. She eats the entire candy gladly. What? How does the teacher know that the eraser is actually candy in the first place? So just because she was using it and it wasn't erasing means that it's candy automatically? What if she grabbed the real eraser by accident and just decided to pop it in her mouth before using it? That honestly would have been hilarious to watch. Roll out a sour rainbow belt and cut it off at an angle. Cut off the excess to make it the same size as a utility knife blade. So this is where the thumbnail comes in involving a utility knife and the blades inside being replaced by a strip of candy. I'm not sure if you're allowed to bring a utility knife to school, but I don't know. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Our new teacher has not only a sharp eye, but also a sharp knife. She kindly gives us the rainbow knife. Okay, never mind. Apparently it was a teacher who made this little food hack for her students. What exactly is the point of this? The girl needed a knife to cut some paper or whatever and you decide to hand her that? That's like having a teacher who has no markers to write on the whiteboard and then I decide to hand her my own marker which had the cap off for like nearly a year and all of it has been dried out. Not really useful to her is it? Also, the candy is clearly visible with all of the bright colors, so how is this exactly hiding something if you can obviously see it? Pour the jelly into the stick and let it harden. This is actually fruit jelly. You can't use it as the glue, but you can have a tasty snack with it. Let's be honest, if you decide to do this and eat it while in class, everyone is just going to look at you weird. The girls start sweating after thinking too hard. They need to come up with something. Where is my fridge bag? Your what? Cindy takes out her fridge-shaped bag and takes an ice cream from the freezer. I guess we're going to learn how to make a fridge bag as she calls it. Actually, instead of watching her make the bag, let's just stare and admire it on how much hours were spent on something you could have easily bought for like 10 bucks. Now granted, it is made out of felt fabric which is a pretty good insulator for ice and other cold things. But how long do you think it's going to last for? It's not exactly made with the most expensive materials for durability, was it? It's probably going to last for like one or two weeks before tearing or something. Redhead puts her school supplies into a pencil case. This has to be the most inconvenient pencil case I've ever seen. First of all, if you're planning to put like pens, pencils, and other stuff inside, how are you going to get whatever you want through that small opening? You have to dump everything out, grab what you want, and then put it all back in because you can't fit like more than three pencils through that small crevice. And this is all because you thought a cheese triangle was the most useful shape to turn into a pencil case. This Parmesan pencil case looks great in pictures. No, it doesn't. We are getting delicious photos with it. I don't think a neon green cheese pencil case looks appetizing at all. Did you like our new ideas on how to sneak food into class? Then write in your comments which teacher you like the most. I'd rather not. I don't think this video is as awful as I thought it was, but considering how many flaws I pulled out of my ass for like two of the DIYs, I don't think a lot of people would try these. I didn't cover every single food hack in this video because honestly they didn't really catch my eye, but they were just as useless as these were. Anyways, have a good day.